All right, so we've got here is a custom made AR and a 45 ACP platform. This uh, stock right here I did myself. It's made out of a uh, dark walnut along with the uh, forward grip. These are both dark walnut. Um, worked on them and I worked on them and I think they came out pretty nice. I'm not done oiling them, but they're good enough right now to at least test fire. So everything's assembled the way it would be. Um, this one had some issues with because it's not your normal, not your normal pistol caliber upper, lower, and bolt carrier combination. This one is actually a delayed blowback. Um, so what that means is your bolt actually looks like it would in, say, a 5.56 rather than like your standard Glock mag bolt and bolt carrier out of a 9mm. Um, which, you know, made getting parts for this thing extremely difficult as well, which is why I'm glad it's finally done. Um, I applied some of my homemade grease to it, so everything's functioning the way it should. And I've actually got this thing installed with a uh, binary trigger. So um, that's going to release not only on the pull, but on the release of the trigger. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attempt to test fire it out of this 40, 40 round magazine. I don't think I got all 40 rounds in there, but uh, ammo ain't cheap and it ain't, it ain't easy to come by either. So you got to deal with me on that. All right, everything seems to go good there. Let's go single shot first. Everything seems to be functioning there. Let's take it to the, uh, let's move it to the funny setting. Oh, that's all she wrote. That was a lot of fun. Um, like I said, that is not full auto. That is a round on the pull and the release. That's what an uh, a, a binary trigger does. Um, man, that's fun. It, it's just too bad that the ammo is so expensive. You know what I mean? 